So here I am in Jerusalem, and you're not here. But I want to just greet you from Jerusalem, one of my most favorite places. And this is called the Has Promenade, and we call it sometimes Abraham's Ridge. Because from here, in Genesis 22, it says, And Abraham saw the place afar off. We first learn about this place from Abraham. He was called to Moriah. He was called to the place which becomes known as the mountain of the Lord or the place of his provision. It is Mount Zion and today it has a golden dome on it. It is the ancient place of the temple that was destroyed in 70 AD, the very last of the temples. So this is Jerusalem. Behind me you can see the city walls. You can see the Mount of Olives with the classic three towers. The tallest one and the one closest to us is the Tower of Ascension. Of course, we know that the angel said to the Galileans, don't you know he's coming in like fashion when he returns? So one day the Lord's foot is going to step over there, over there on the Mount of Olives. Below it is the famous valley known as the Kidron Valley. And then the rest of Jerusalem is this sprawling metropolis of more than a million people. So. You know, I know that many of you have spent a long time gathering your money so you can do this course and you've, you've spent a long time perhaps dreaming of being in the mission field or maybe you've prayed about this for a decade. I want to just remind you that this is not your doing you're agreeing with the call that God has put on your life. When you go into the mission field, when you have a heart for the lost, when you are standing in that place of intercession, when you are in this place of, Lord, whatever you say, thy will be done, I'm going to do it. You are pleasing to the Father, and he is the one who started this whole ball rolling in your life. It's not about what you were able to do or what you did before this. It's about what he's going to do in you in the days ahead. And we are living in probably the most exciting moment on the face of the earth because we are living in the days of the coming of the Lord. And I just want to read you a scripture. I'm sure you all have read it. These are the words of our Lord. It's uh, John 6:44. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. And I, who is this? This is the Lord, will raise him up in the last day. Now, so what does that tell us? The Father is the one who has drawn you. The Father is the one who gave you revelation. The Father is the one who called you. And it's through his son that you made your way to the Godhead. It's through the blood of the Lord and the sacrifice of the Lord. But do you understand? He chose you and he's drawing you into that intimate place of that calling and that election in him. And so I want to just encourage all of you because, you know, he uses anyone he chooses. He uses the most unlikely people. I mean, after all, you're probably sitting at the feet of some of those, learning from them. God is not a respecter of persons. He is looking at your heart. And when your heart is after the things of God, then you can easily say, yea and amen, just fill in the check, Lord. Whatever you want of me, I'm willing to do. And that's what our father, Abraham, said when he was brought to this crest of the hill on his way to sacrifice Isaac, he was ready to say Hineni to God. Hineni is another way of saying, I will do anything, any way, any time. I'm just wanting to encourage you this day that he is the one in control of the call and the election in your life. You have a very small part in that and your part, well, maybe not so small, is to remain faithful. This is a day of shakings. This is a day 
that there will be many coming into the kingdom and repenting. But at the same time, there will be many, according to the word of God, falling away. And that many's hearts will grow cold. What's the key to staying hot? What's the key to not getting cold? It is this simple thing. Remain faithful. Remain faithful. Don't try to figure it all out. Don't try to understand what he's doing. Don't try to make charts and tell me, okay, he's about here. Don't give that to me. We have to be like little children standing before the Father saying, we're looking to you. Take me by the hand. As long as you can stay in that place, remember what the words of Jesus are. In Matthew, what does he say? He says, learn of me because I am what? Meek and lowly of heart. I am meek. I am a lowly person. That's the key to remaining faithful, to remaining with your eyes on him. Remain in that low place. Don't ever think, I got it all. Now watch me. No. He called you. He's elected you. He is going to take you places and you are going to see things that you can't even imagine. But it's not about you. It's about him. And in the last day, he has promised to raise us up. And he is going to give us what is known as Chaim Lenetzach. Don't you love that word? Chaim Lenetzach, eternal life. That is the promise. So you have the goods. All you have to do is stay in that low place, listen to him, and be faithful to the end. Keep standing, keep standing. So the Lord bless you all who are now in this place in their lives, ready to be shot out like a, a you know, an arrow from the quiver of the Lord into the harvest that is truly ripe. Amen.